Good morning guys, I'm in Almaty in Kazakhstan. We've just finished off a conference in Nur Sultan, north from here and we flew down last night and we're about to go on a three day adventure in the Almaty region. And I'm super excited to share with you the beauty of Kazakhstan and everything we experienced. So we've just met with a driver now and we're about to head off. The start of our tour is that we're heading up to Big Almaty Lake. This is our tour guide, Ada. Hi. And we are going into this mountain range called Zaliski Zay Zay Alatau. And we are going up into the very cold areas with like snow and stuff up there. But it's a beautiful lake. We've stopped just to take some photos. This area looks incredible. Just the other side of these mountains is Kurdistan. And uh, yeah, this is just breathtaking. We have arrived at the lake and there's uh, this dude in his van just selling coffee with an espresso machine. This is amazing. So I'm getting a coffee. We're walking down to the lake. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. Thanks for bringing us here. This is pretty amazing, isn't it? This is incredible and hot. It's, it's warm. I, th I thought it was going to be cold up here. I thought it was going to be cold. This is reminds me of Canada or something. Look at this. same way as a lot of these lakes I've seen around the world with this really vibrant turquoise colour. What I think is happening is a lot of the minerals from the mountains and the rocks and the snow that's melting is washing into this lake and that's what gives it that kind of cloudy blue colour. And then we also learnt that all of the water here is supplying the entire city of Almaty with their uh, drinking water which is awesome so they're kind of pumping it down from here. This, I honestly could stay here all day. This is just so beautiful. This kid's just chilling here in normal clothes, but I've asked him to get into the traditional Kazakh clothing for a photo. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> dude down there with the eagle, I think that's um, just to kind of pose with for tourists, but he talked about his parents and his grandparents would use eagles and falcons to hunt for food. And it's a big part of the Kazakh tradition is the falconers. And yeah, it was, it was pretty cool to see. What a magnificent bird. We have arrived back into the city and we are gonna get some snacks and food for me because uh, Kazakhstan isn't very vegan friendly. The Kazakh traditional food is very meat and dairy heavy so I'm gonna have a little look around and see if I can get some things to bring with me because I don't want to cause too much trouble for the places we're staying uh, to get food I can eat so I think we're gonna find some. It's kind of blowing my mind just walking through a high-end shopping center in Kazakhstan because it really breaks the uh, misconceptions I have about Kazakhstan, which I think a lot of uh, positive, like, and the Kazakh culture and the tradition and just the wilderness, but uh, obviously they have very developed cities here as well, which is cool. Let's 
go and get some lunch. All right, we're getting some uh, traditional Kazakh Indian food. <laughs> I requested we went to an Indian restaurant just because, like I said, Kazakh food is not, not uh, vegan friendly. Oh yeah. Been served a banquet, an Indian banquet. How was the uh, Indian food? Oh, it's great. It's good? It's my third time. It's very cool. We are now heading to Charon Canyon, which is just under a three hour drive, and we want to get some good time there whilst the sun's still up, so we're running a little late, but it's all part of the adventure, isn't it? We've just stopped off, we're an hour from the canyon and we've stopped at this market to get some snacks and I'm blown away by the fresh fruit and vegetables here. Look at all these watermelon. What, what is, is this? Huh? It's a type of uh, melon. Is it like a honey dream melon? I haven't seen a melon like that. What are you getting dad? Um, these baby peach things. They look quite nice. Yeah. And what's this fruit called? Yes. What fruit? First is a, it's a melon. Uh, melon. It's a, it's a melon. melon. But it has to be perfectly round, spherical, and uh, smell right. Is this the one? Is this the one? Mm, lovely. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. We have arrived at Charing Canyon. Look at the landscape here compared to where we were this morning. It's just completely different. We went from green, beautiful, luscious trees everywhere to just barren desert, and then suddenly we're just in this incredible canyon landscape. Look at these guys just camping on the side here. <laughs> so the, the plan is we're gonna go for a little wander here, just see the canyon from above, get some photos, check it out. And then we're actually going to park up and head down into the canyon where we're going to be sleeping tonight in a yurt. So I'm quite excited for that. Right, we are now, we're now gonna be heading down here onto this path heading into the canyon this way. So we're gonna venture back to the car. We're parking up here. We're actually gonna take all of our bags with us, which is quite a lot of stuff, but um, not too much, not too much. My carry-on bag is pretty heavy though. I've got a lot of lenses and random stuff in here. But we're gonna we're gonna roll the melon down. <laughs> roll it down. So carrying it. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, this concrete staircase was only built two weeks ago, <laughs> and the road on the way in as well, I think, was very recent. Ooh. What we thought were marmots are actually gerbils. This is where gerbils live in the wild, in Kazakhstan, who'd have thought? So anyone with a pet gerbil, this is where they, this is where they come from.
Seeing through this canyon is absolutely stunning, especially as the light's kind of like getting lower and lower. It's like amazing shadows, you can see all the rock features. Oh, it's so incredible. We've arrived at the place where we're sleeping tonight. This is where we're staying tonight. This is our yurt. Check this out. Oh wow. I was just telling my dad that this is shaping out to be probably one of the most epic places I've ever stayed. In the middle of a canyon in Kazakhstan, in a yurt surrounded by uh, kind of a, a horseshoe river. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just stunning. I cannot believe this. And I think the stars are gonna be pretty epic tonight as well. Is it Poyek or Koyek? Alp 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 Koyek. Alp 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 Koyek. Alp Koyek. Yeah. Alp Koyek. Alp Koyek. These are our Polish friends we made. They helped us finish our. They helped us finish our dinner. Jak się masz? Okay. Heading in to the yurt for the night. Bedtime. <laughs> Can you throw me? Oh, you have. We have pillows. I've got swans in my pillow. I love it. Yeah, perfect. This is really cozy. This is so cool. This is the main part of the yurt. Oh. Yes. I, I don't know how to say <laughs> It's a good for family. It's good for family. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to sleep well. Are you going to sleep well, Dad? Uh, I'm going to go out because we've got to get up early and do some filming. We do. We, we want to get sunrise. We need to get out and explore as well. Right. We'll see you when we wake up. You can see how beautiful this place is in the morning. Mm -hmm. 